The decade got off to an ominous start with our report entitled Unemployment, a survival guide for your daughter, your son or yourself. And if this kept you awake at nights, we offered advice on how to deal with insomnia. We also looked at roller skating, the latest craze to hit Australian shores. A year onwards, a 1981 saw us reporting on metal detectors and offering advice on DIY butchery, complete with illustrations. Choice also predicted computerised grocery shopping, claiming that you'd be able to select your items, arrange for delivery and have your account debited without ever having to leave your home. On to 1982 and we found cultured yoghurt claiming to cure everything from baldness to radioactive fallout and advised that tap water was altogether better value than imported mineral water. We also lab tested condoms, finding alarming incidences of bursting and leakage. 1983 and Choice made the radical statement that possession and cultivation of marijuana for personal use should not be an offence. With Orwell's 1984 around the corner, we questioned how much personal information was being held without our knowledge and rounded up the latest in video cassette recorders. Medicare hit the headlines in 1984, offering what Choice described as basic medical and hospital cover under a national health insurance scheme. We asked whether the cereal box was more nutritious than the contents and found massive price differences between two Sydney supermarkets in our fifth pricing survey. 1985 was the year of the CD player, which offered excellent performance compared to turntables in a similar price range. Mortgage documentation proved almost indecipherable and we concluded that hair restoration treatments were pointless. In 1986, baby bottle teats were found to contain unacceptable levels of potent carcinogens, thanks to an absence of Australian regulation. This year also saw choice put on display at the Powerhouse Museum, and we celebrated by testing champagne against locally produced sparkling wines. 1987, and we recommended buying Australian produce, though imported cars were cited as the more reliable option. We were eating 50% more frozen meals, and three food samples showed evidence of cesium-137, an unfortunate consequence of Chernobyl. On to 1988, and Choice pushed for an elimination of bank fees, and rather high-handedly described cordless phones as synonymous with trendiness, self-indulgence, and dare we say it, laziness. 45% of Australians are found to be taking vitamin supplements, presumably the same ones who ate all the frozen meals back in 1987. 1989 and we couldn't wait to see the back of the shoulder pad and the yuppie. Pasta sauces were on the increase and we also looked at water-saving shower heads. 